I'm finishing up the channel job on this 1930 Model A Ford, and while most of the heavy fab work is done, we did run into one small complication. And that was how we were gonna put strong, blind threaded inserts into the chassis so we could bolt the body down. Now I didn't trust tapping the frame as the wall thickness was just a little bit too thin. And rib nuts, well, they work really well in light duty instances, but for this job, it just wasn't gonna cut it. I found a way using some hardware that we had laying around the shop to make some strong threaded inserts that are fitted into the chassis and will last the life of the car. I wanted all of the hardware holding the body to the chassis to be grade eight. So I started by locking a batch of nuts onto a carriage bolt and chucking it up in the lathe. I then machined off the hex portion of the nuts, leaving me with round threaded grade eight bungs that were just a hair bigger than half inch in diameter. I then drilled out the pilot holes in the chassis to half inch and countersunk them to give us a valley of the layer weld puddling. Because the holes in the chassis were just a little bit smaller than our threaded inserts, we're able to easily seat them just below the conical area of the hole and set them straight with a rubber mallet. With each of the threaded inserts in place, I carefully welded them to the chassis, making sure the weld puddle stayed only on the edge of the insert while also filling the bevel. Now that the threaded inserts were welded flush, we were able to put the body back on the chassis and thread our mounting bolts down through the cross braces, securely fixing the body to the chassis. Well, with using hardware we just had laying around the shop, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now you can take these ideas and transfer them to use them anywhere on your next project. To keep up with all the tech videos from Eastwood, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.